Breaking news, a head-on collision between two rush hour commuter trains in Belgium. At least 25 are dead and dozens more injured. We'll bring you the latest. A major NATO offensive in Afghanistan continues as U.S. officials apologize for a missile that slammed into a house, killing 12 civilians. We have the latest from the ground. There was no love lost on Valentine's Day between the current and former vice presidents. That's Dick Cheney. I mean, thank God the, the last administration didn't listen to him at the end. We have the details on the war of words. And Wipeout, a rogue wave slams into a crowd watching a surfing competition. We'll talk to one of the unlucky fans early this Monday morning, February 15th, 2010. It is the third Monday in February, President's Day. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Early Show. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. And I'm Harry Smith. May I be the first to wish you a happy President's Day? Thank you. Same to you. Have you ever heard anyone say <laughs> no. that before? Of course not. <laughs> uh, we've got a busy morning around here this morning and some very unfortunate breaking news coming from Europe. That horrific train crash in Belgium. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips is in London with the very latest. Good morning, Mark. Maggie. Mark Phillips with our top story in London. Mark, thank you. Now to that big military push into southern Afghanistan led by U.S. forces. It is now in its third day, but areas infested with roadside bombs are slowing down the progress. CBS News correspondent Mandy Clark is embedded with the U.S. military and filed this report. Turkey Hill at the news desk. Good morning, Harry. Hey, it was worth a shot, Harry, right? Yeah, Good morning. <laughs> After severe back-to-back -back blizzards, how about round three this morning? Take a look. Eric, I know that Dave likes it when I do the weather report from here. <laughs> he does. He's a little worried about his job, so be careful. Wait until Tuesday to do that, not Monday. <laughs> right. Jeff Glor for us in Vancouver this morning. Thanks. And speaking of Dave Price, for the first check of the weather, they really need the snow in Vancouver. I've got nothing else to say now that Jeff's done, but listen to this Should we fact. let him finish? Yeah, well, hold on. I hope Jeff's listening. What, you, what is in the coffee exactly? What? No, you give Can people you a day it, off from please? work, and yeah. this is what happens. That's they happy. just loiter. They're rowdy. <laughs> exactly. Rowdy Welcome back to the early show, everybody. Maggie Rodriguez with Harry Smith and Dave Price. Coming up. Thank you. Yeah. Is Dave has his own sign. Look today. at that. Oh, wow. Look All at that. the way from Long Island. Oh, that's at least wow, 30 that's, minutes. That's amazing. Where did you camp out last night? Where'd you stop in between to rest? The subway. That's nice. Nice to see you, sir. Fans. Only fitting. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right. Coming up, a day at the beach turned into a bit of a mess. They had the big Mavericks competition. Well, the folks on the on the shore had no idea. They didn't want to be part of it, did they? Uh, well, there were a couple of Maverick waves oh, came up go. onto the beach, and we're going to talk to somebody who managed to uh, get through it. The waves went rogue. Indeed. So to speak. Also, you're going to meet the cutest seven-year-old boy. Former President Clinton had just gotten home from the hospital, mm -hmm. and C.J. Williams wanted to give him a get well card right. and that, that uh, heart-shaped box of Skittles. So he doesn't live too far away, so he went over there yeah. and tried to deliver it. He is here this morning. He still has the card and the Skittles because he couldn't get it to him. But he is not giving up. He's here exclusively this morning to tell us how he plans to get that to the president. Because if you want to go to the president's house and present them with something, the Secret you Service can't, can't yeah. actually take it. Correct. Right. So they ran into a little bit of a hitch there. And but he's however, got a plan. He's got a plan. However, if he cannot get the Skittles to the president, I am more than happy to accept them because I do love on, Skittles. On his behalf. How do you like that? All right. Let's go inside. Erica Hill at the news desk. I have a feeling she'll take the Skittles as well. Uh, maybe. You know, I'm more of a chocolate girl. I'll let you have this. You can take that one for the team, Dave. All right. uh, this morning, U.S. Marines and Afghan forces facing increased resistance as they fight their way into a Taliban stronghold. U.S. Marines say they are dealing with snipers. <laughs> Good morning again, Dave. Joining us with a check of the weather. How is the New Year starting off? A little white and snowy? What? Well, I'm sorry. I missed you there. There was too much going on outside. There's too much going that on coffee. out here. In fact, we've called for... President's Day crowd. <laughs> Every right? year, same thing. Same thing. President's Day does it to people. Get a grip. 
Right. Get a grip. You know what right. it is? It must be the three-day mattress sale. Everybody's going crazy. <laughs> I'm sure. Without a doubt. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Never fails. Welcome back to the early show, everybody. Coming up straight from the mountains of Vancouver, two Olympic medalists. Brian Wilson took the bronze in the men's freestyle mogul. <laughs> Yo, Brian. And Shannon Barkey made history when she took the bronze in women's moguls. We're going to talk to both of them. Woohoo! They're pretty happy for being up so early. They got in the that morning. President's Day enthusiasm yeah, too. too. Oh, yeah. The middle doesn't hurt. Yeah. Either, <laughs> also ahead for all of you who got engaged on Valentine's Day, which a lot of people I'm sure did. Great tips this morning on do-it-yourself weddings that are creative, fun, and here's the icing on the cake: very cost-effective. Was that a brown bag? I saw there. We're so you're gonna, gonna get brown creative. bag your, your wedding reception. Just have to bring their own. <laughs> Trust me. Exactly. Trust me. You'll I'll like trade it. Trade your PBJ okay. for a bologna. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Nice. I'm looking forward to that segment. Maybe someone will bring mac and cheese because this one I actually so excited about this morning. Master Chef Don DeLucy is here this morning with a special twist on comfort food, which is perfect for these cold winter days. Mac and cheese this morning, like you've never had it before. Harry, we're all invading that cooking segment. The best mac and cheese maybe in this whole city, I have to say. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, right? Without right? Are we going to call it? A doubt. All right. First, though, it's time to uh, check the weather. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on the new Tempur-Pedic you and your husband bought this week. <laughs> You're really excited about it. Yeah, I'll give you a full report after a full week of sleeping. In, in she New York needs City, the back support with the pregnancy. In New York City, you can get a mattress delivered as fast as Chinese food. It's an unbelievable. It's true. You go it's in, it's a true fact in life. By the time you get yeah. home, your old mattress is gone, your new mattress is there, yeah. and your valuables are somewhere in between. <laughs> uh, nice to see you, everybody. So the sous chefs are all complaining that I put too much Tabasco in the... What did, what did, no, use that say yes, no, I said too much. There's, a there's a little bit too much in there. Too much. Dave? Oh, yeah, there's too, too much. much. But that's not stopping any of us from eating it. That's the important thing to point out John's, here. We're eating John's, actually. We're eating these three puppies that are delicious. No, no, I'm using Dave's, the best no, method. Dave is all what? over Harry. I'm yeah, going exactly. into the empty pot, and <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually taking out the nonstick surface. Right. I'm putting the fresh pasta on it. Nothing should be wasted during a recession. Well, let's, Waste let's not, want not. I'm sticking right. Good to the last drop. Hey, and when's, it, when's the new place open? Uh, spring. Springtime. Yes. All right, we'll look forward to that. Thanks Thank so you much. so much, Chef. Have a great day, everybody. Your local news is next. Watch the Tabasco today, huh? Uh. <laughs>